Jump off. Is he? You, you live around here, bud? No. Where you live at? Down the road by uh, Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form identification on you? No, man. What's your no. name? Robert Jones. Robert Jones? Uh-huh. Why, well, I'm not supposed to be on the tracks? No, that's not the problem right now. Where you, what's your address? I don't have an address. I'm at the hotel. We're working on uh, houses and stuff. I got the roofing. Roofing? Yep. Okay. For my brother. All right. Um, what is we got an escapee? Oh shit! <laughs> Where from? Uh, prison. There's a prison here? Yeah. Huh. Man, it is hot. Hey, this Carl. The subject wore glasses. Nothing about glasses. Can you find out? I'm out with a white male on the tracks at uh, Gilly Williams. You can call my little brother. <laughs> Where about? Take your glove off. Any tattoos or anything? Oh. Look it over. No, no, I'm just. No, nah, he's clean. Oh, I know tattoos. Jesus. I'm 50 years old. <laughs> how old is your guy? You're how old? 50. I was born in 56. He said he was born in 56. 58. Uh, any kind of details you can give me, huh? What colors you got? Green, well, kind of a turquoise blue. Turquoise blue? Yeah. <laughs> you want to give me some more? <laughs> <laughs> Call my little brother, man. <laughs> Do I? No, it, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. No, no, it's, uh, short, short hair. My guy's got skin cut hair. He's got a beard, well, uh, a goatee like. How old is that picture? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I got the same thing. You can't see shit on it. All right. What kind of scar? Okay. All right, let me uh, let me just verify. He says his brother's staying at the motel. Let me verify that, and if so, I'll just cut him loose. All right, thanks. I guarantee I'm not no You know the bad thing about it? What's that? You're matching up to him. Come on. <laughs> well, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, where are you staying at? That uh, Titusville or Titus Inn? Titus Inn, a little old. A little old. Uh, Where's that at? I don't even know the address. We just got into town about a week ago, and he dropped me off to jog. I always jog about 12 miles a day. Where'd he drop you off at? Up there on that road by, uh, there's some construction going on up there, an house. Uh -huh. And he dropped me off, and uh, he'll be back to the hotel in about probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Who do y'all work for? It's his, it's his, uh... I know, what's the name Brooklyn of the company? Fields Brooklyn. 
Okay. Did you go through a briar patch or something? Well, yeah, roofing. I always roof in shorts and cut my uh, scratching up on, you know, the roofing. That's stuff. why your knees are all cut up? Yeah. Or oh, y'all got pads? Huh? Y'all wear pads? Hell too hot. They rub your, the pads rub your back of your legs and stuff. Um, where are you from? Huh? We're originally Dallas, Texas. I mean, that's where you, y'all yeah, stay at? we're out of. Out of Dallas, Texas? Yes, What's your name again? Jimmy Jones. Uh, put yourself in my position. Well, yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I know oh, I'm not. Man. I'm not. I'm not you throwing you against them. Hey, you wouldn't believe what them guys do. Okay. I mean, they got years and years to think about how they're gonna do it. Now, I could, uh, when I crossed the tracks down there, I saw you running. I said, "Well, how lucky can I be?" <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no prison escapee. How far you got a jog to? Pineville. Hopefully, he's on these tracks. I'll jog. You gonna hit? It. Huh? Oh, you don't know where you're at? Yeah, I'm at Ball. No, no, I'm talking about you don't know where you're at as far as where, how far away you are from Hamel. Well, I would say it's eight miles. Um, I'm trying to think where you're gonna hit out at. Um, well, Procter and Gamble. Right, Pineville, right? Right. You're gonna be right there at Procter and Gamble. Walmart and all that stuff. Yeah. Where you, so, where's y'all's motel at? Okay. Let me think now, because like I say, uh, fuel always drives. Okay, Walmart's right there. Go right at Walmart, and there's a road. That, is it 165? Right. 165 that goes south, and we're about two blocks, three blocks. Code four. Code four. Code four. Little old tiny hotel. I mean, it's clean, but it, and the, it's family owned. Little old tiny hotel. Yeah, you know, like a motel deal. You park up there, and there's uh, we we got a camper, and we were trying to get into the camper place. But we didn't get into the camper place yet. There's a camper place between, I think, Ball, I mean, not Ball, uh, Pineville, and what's the next town? Alexander? No, no, Alexander's the other way. You got Ball, Pineville, Tioga? I think that's Tioga. There's a little, uh, uh, you drive down the, the road down, and there's uh, a place for uh, campers and stuff. And that's where we usually stay, but we couldn't get in there. Um, I promise you, I'm not no damn serious in this KP. You'd have done run by now. <laughs> you know that yourself. <laughs> yeah. You'd have done run by now. No. Well, if you can't verify I me, mean, I'll be at the... Did you see anybody or anything? There's some kids up there playing. That's all you saw? Yeah, the kids. Was that you that blew your siren? Uh-uh. There's a siren, and then some kids were screaming, some little kids playing on the tracks. And, uh, the oh, guys... I probably told them to get off of them. Oh, did you? Well... Can I jog on them? Cause this is the I don't I care, okay, personally. This is the only way I know how to get back. Don't get run over by a train. There isn't any. That's why I picked this. <laughs> I'm place. sure you can hear him way in advance. Yeah, but that's why these are rusted, right? For a train? They go down this road? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. See, I saw it rusted, and I thought, hell, I can jog on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they'll come. Not as much as our other track. Other There's track about every space, hour. Sir. I'm sorry to have to hold you up. But hey, no, I'm just doing my job, man. I know you are. But, uh... Yeah, just be careful. You'll probably get stopped again, okay? okay. Don't don't be alarmed by it. Board line, yeah. Okay, you'll be on until, well, this shift. I'll be on until we find this on the gun. Well, my dad's an auxiliary detective. In Where Dallas, at? In Dallas. They oh, okay. The posse is what they call it. Yeah. He's 70 years old and he's been doing it since 63. Still he's enjoys it. Else, yeah. But um, if, uh, if somebody else stops me, I just have him call. I mean, they're going to go through the same spill and okay. everything well, with they you. Can call you. But, um, yeah, I mean, don't be alarmed by it. Don't be okay. upset about it. You know, they'll just stop you for a minute, check you out and everything. But if you do jog again in the future, carry some ID with you. See, I don't, and I'm sorry. When I was in the military, we never carried our ID yeah. on base and stuff. So. On base is different. Yeah, I know. You know, they assure you if you can cross on, you, you got something. Yep. But out here, you're in civilian life, you know. Were you in the military? No, I wasn't. I'm retired Army. But, um, yeah, in the future, if you're going to jog again, that way, I mean, if you get run over by a train, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to start second-guessing who he is, you can know. Can you write down your uh, phone number, your cell phone number, so I can have whoever call you? Just call. You got a cell phone with you? No, hell no. I don't even have a cell phone or anything. Just call 911 is all you got to do, and they'll get a hold to us. 
All right. That's yeah. our quick line there. You have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right.